I hate fishing this this lake. It's 82.8 degrees, the water temp. So we're in a summertime pattern. So we're finding these points and basically we're fishing the back side of them. Oh, I had two of them chasing it. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Be Fishing. So I am in probably the clearest water I will fish all year long. I'm talking about ultra clear water. We are on Lewis Smith Lake in Alabama. Um, it is a haven for spotted bass. And uh, honestly, it's been my Achilles heel for a long time. I hate fishing this, this lake because I can't figure it out. But you know what? I'm out here with Brandon today. Y'all remember Brandon? We have uh, we've developed a little bit of a pattern here today. It took us a long time to do it. I'll grant you a long time to figure it out. They're not giant, but these are also spots, so they're not largies either. I mean, you can get a three and four pound spot, but three and four pound spots, a large spotted bass. I'm gonna tell you one word, all you need to know about this video for the bait we're using. Bandit. Remember it, learn it. Let's get into it, let's go. All right, folks, I'm starting off with a little spinnerbait here around these docks. We're gonna see if we can't get on some sort of, some sort of something with these spotted bass here on Smith Lake. You know you got a map on that thing, right? Yeah, shut up. Okay. Shut up. I know how these work better, okay? Okay. <laughs> Oh, hang on. Yeah, I see it. Ah, he missed it. Took the tail. Right. Took the tail. Put him in the boat. They're non-committal on it. Yeah. Making me think I need to change. Oh, making me think I need to change colors. There wasn't any purpose for us to be there. Put that fish in the boat. Does he have it? Yeah. Got it. No, he don't. Oh, we hit it right there at the end. I know. So they're they're in the they're in this different water column. We're in seven foot of water right now too, though. They're on that ledge. There's a ledge right there. There's a ledge right there that you're on right now. They're just very non-committal on this color. Yeah, but if they're short striking it like that, just rule of thumb says that there's something. It's you're we got the right bait, but there's just something a little off with it. So I'm gonna change to a green pumpkin pearl as opposed to a natural, which it's got more of a white bottom and more of green as opposed to that brown with blue flake. Watch this right here. I got him. Nice. Little fella, but I got him. Ah, a little guy. Like it. There you go. I've had some luck throwing this in. Oh. Is that a crawl crankbait? Yeah, crawl crankbait. Flat yeah. bill. Come on up. Come on up here. Drive. I'm gonna try to I'm gonna change. Cause I'd rather fish a moving bait anyway. Yeah. Just so we keep it moving. I'm gonna try this one first. It's a bandit too. Yeah. Got him. That's quick. That was quick. I mean, he ain't big. All right. Second, second cast. Oh, gee, yeah. Yep. He's a little better. Oh, I, oh, I had two of them chasing it. I saw it. He got two on, did he? No. Woo! I knew he was coming off. I saw that he was barely hooked, and I was like, I just got to fling him. Oh, my gosh, finally. Was That was the biggest one so far. All right, so you've seen we're catching them finally. Let's talk about how we're catching them. Number one, this, this temperature right here, 
is key. So we're in the first part of June now. It's 82.8 degrees, the water temp. So we're in a summertime pattern. The water's hot. Those fish need deep water access. So let's pull this up real quick. So what we're doing is right, right here. Look at this. So we're finding these points and basically we're fishing the back side of them where they've got deep water access. Somewhere in that 10, well actually probably earlier it was like eight, wasn't it? It was like eight to about 15 foot. If we can get in that range, uh, and that's at the max of the bandit. The bandit's about eight foot, but they're suspended off the bottom. So that eight foot, they're hanging right around 10 foot. So that eight foot's perfect. If I can get that bandit, I'm using fluorocarbon line to help it get down, keeping my rod tip low. If I can get that to that max eight foot, they're coming up and hitting it right on the tail end of that bandit. And uh, Brandon's over here throwing different crankbaits as well. You've had success on a crawl crankbait, this white crankbait you're throwing. Yeah, both of them are rebels. Right, rebel crankbaits. And I'm throwing the bandits, which, hey, by the way, overall, same, same company. It's a yeah. Pradco owned company. So very similar in style, even though they've got different wobbles and different colors. But that's what we're looking at. We're looking at this graph and we're finding these big points that extend to deep water access so those fish can stay nice and cool. And that's pretty much the name of the game today. And that's what we're getting bit on. So we're gonna keep fishing these points and uh, see if we can't get a few more fish in the boat. I think we've got, you know, just a handful right now. We're gonna try to load up on some more, but this is what we're looking at. A lot of you guys ask, you know, you want more actual substance to these videos. And this is, this is a good summertime pattern. eased into it yep yes, sir. again barely, barely. Hey. but instead of yanking it out of his mouth I just sort of let yeah let him have it and just sort of eased back hey. we found a little pattern here we did Bert. we did they ain't no big fish but there's no. some fish mm, there are some fish Oh, all right, ladies and gentlemen, that's gonna do it for today's video. Hopefully you learned something about the summertime fishing, fishing those main points, looking for thermoclines, looking for different things on the graph, and crankbait fishing. This is really when we should have had our deep plugs, but honestly, I think Brandon was probably as shocked as I was. I didn't bring deep plugs because I didn't think they were gonna be that deep yet. I yeah. did not think the water was gonna be, be that hot yet. Yeah, I thought maybe 78 at the most, like still at least in the 70s, because. Honestly, I don't know that a basket's happier than 72 to 75 degree water. That's their happiest they can absolutely be is 72 to 75. So I thought we were gonna be pushing that with 78 and uh, I was wrong by about 10 degrees. Yeah. It's hot uh, and the water temperature's just going up. So we're about to jump off the water because I am burnt to a crisp um, because I don't wear sunscreen because you know, genius and stuff. We're gonna end up, we ended up with like eight fish in the boat. We hooked a couple more that got off. Um, and again, it was a little bit trying to figure out the bite. Um, not Don't set the hook on a crankbait, because even though it's so instinct, I did that once and lost one. Brandon did it a couple times and lost a couple. Just sort of lean into those fish when they when they take it on a crankbait. Really anything with treble hooks, lean into them. Don't set the hook, you're gonna rip it right out of their mouth a lot of times, especially if they're barely hooked. But. That's gonna do it for today's video. If you guys liked it, go ahead, smash the thumbs up button. Go ahead, hit the subscribe button, turn it from red to gray, hit the ding on notifications. So you need notified anytime I drop a new video. And uh, as always, leave a comment below on what you thought um, about, the, the, about the video today. I mean, how did we do? Did you learn anything? Is there anything you would rather me just not talk about things that you need to probably be looking for on the water and just shut up and fish? Cause I can do that too. Let me know in the comments. We're gonna get out of here. Y'all have a good one. Later.